What is going on guys? Ryan from Living Salty here and today I get to share some really exciting news with you guys. I've been waiting to share this for so long. We decided to put new motors on our boat. We got rid of our old Yamahas and we put new Suzukis and we got rid of our old 2003 Ray Marine technology and got a brand new Simrad. So in this video I documented the whole experience of getting rid of the old motors and putting on the new ones and I wanted to share it with you guys. So enjoy the video. I can feel the power, I can feel the power. Feel the power. Yeah, money that is time and hour. Time and so, hours. Yeah, well, I, I better, better activate, activate the power. Ooh. I'ma activate it, gotta make it, gotta chase it. Sure. I don't care what they be saying, I'ma do it now. And I've been really safe and I ain't giving up and I ain't giving in. Do it now for the dividends. I'll be on the path, I just gotta get it. Cause I got my mind yeah. on some bigger One, things. Two. Oh man, I ain't gonna give in now. I just gotta live this now. I'll be gonna be man, I'ma kill this stuff real quick. I'ma go take it to town, cause I gotta be that king in the ring when I'm not getting mad when I'm back with the wheel. Cause I am just up on the journey. You just know that I'm just going insane. When I do, I could never get no sleep Cause I just need to get it, man I need to be The thing that I just painted out, man you won't go see See my vision, I'll be in it, I'ma kill it, I'ma take it all
Suzuki 250s. We upgraded from 225 to 250s. Get a little bit more horsepower, our boat can handle it. They are, they run great, sound great. Gives the boat a lot of power. We're cruising up on playing at about 30 miles an hour. Overall, so far, first impressions, fantastic motors. And over here, you can see me in the reflection of my mom. We have the new Simrad we got here. It's a Go 9. And we're probably going to put another um, unit right here. We just haven't gotten it yet. But we got the all touchscreen Go 9 unit. And it's pretty awesome so far. Um, I like Simrad's interface the best. I think it's the cleanest looking. And I think the sonar charts and stuff look the best. So we have four gauges here for the Suzuki's, all customizable with these buttons. You can um, adjust anything you want, the displays, you can just, you can put anything. There's tons and tons of options on stuff you can put in on the displays. Super customizable, never had anything like that, so it's pretty cool. We kept our one radio because uh, it still worked well, but then we got a new uh, radio, it's a Cobra Marine a standard radio just like to have two radios on our boat so yeah we also got this nice black finish to the dash before it was all white but there was a bunch of holes from the old units so we decided to put a new black plating on the back it matches nicely with the whole boat and yeah it's nice and clean looking and it's it's pretty modern so i like that kind of look all right, so that's going to do it for today's video. We're just going to keep trolling out here, see if we can get anything, maybe do some jigging. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed our experience showing you getting new electronics and repowering our boat with Suzuki's. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more of my content, hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you can get updated on when I post my videos. Also make sure to fo um, follow me on Instagram at living underscore salty with two Ys. I'll put it on the screen right here. And yeah, until my next video, um, remember to keep living salty.